Hello viewers, today Agro Business 233 is on the long tennis court. This is my favorite pastime, playing long tennis. And your regular host, IK Dusay, is going to break down the difference between broilers and layers, which one is more profitable. You are going to have an opportunity to win a copy of my book, How to Start Small Financial Skills for Business Success. Whatever you've learned, put it at the comment section and at the country you are watching us from, or wherever you are watching us from, and this book is going to be shipped to you directly from our end. I'm also going to play a match with um, an interesting opponent and I'm going to attach it to this video. So at the end of the session, stay and watch who won. Three, two, one. See you at the other side. to start a poultry farm and now you are wondering whether to start with broilers or layers. Layers are raised for their eggs and broilers are raised for their meat. So you want to know whether when you go the meat way or the eggs way you are going to be rich. Agro Business 233 is excited to shed more light on broilers and layers which one is more profitable. So now let's dig in. Broilers, in terms of revenue, are going to give you a lot more assurance because you don't need a lot of money to go into broilers, yet it can fetch you something instantaneously. When you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty birds, which are broilers, from the day old chicks, and you are raising them. It's going to take you a maximum of six weeks for you to start making some money six weeks so you don't have money you want to start a poultry farm you can start with say 20 beds which are broilers and these beds are going to help you to make money after six months you don't have to wait for a year you don't have to wait for too long to make your return so the revenue margins if you have more broilers and you have a ready market for it you are going to make some money you don't need to have a bigger market you don't need to sell to the restaurants chains and all that to make some money you can start making money from your next door neighbor if you have five ten fifteen you raise them for six weeks and you are ready to sell this is real money and this is how to start easily. With the layers, you have to wait for quite a little bit of time. Layers are raised for their eggs. So when you have a day old chick, which is a layer, you have to wait for a maximum of 18 to 22 weeks for you to start to see your beds laying eggs. And in this area, you can not have one or two or three or four or even 20 or even 30 to 50 to make reasonable money because if you have only 50 beds which are layers how many eggs can they lay the average layer would lay eggs within 26 hours at least one so you are going to have one egg in 26 hours so when you wait for that long, 18 to 22 weeks, and you are going to rip you know, the returns, and you only have 50 beds, you cannot make so much from 50 beds, because 50 beds is going to perhaps give you 50 eggs, maximum in 26, 28 hours. Uh, and you know, the eggs are sold in crates, so, Ideally, you are looking at one crate and a little extra. And uh, you, I don't know whether you can make a living from that. So when we talk about broilers and layers and you don't have so much money, uh, in terms of revenue, you are going to make some more revenue from the broilers than layers. But let's look at it on a larger scale. With layers, if 
you have them in their numbers. You have 500 beds to start, 1,000 beds moving forward. It's, it's an ideal you know, revenue generator because you are going to make residual income from it. And the cost that you incur in feeding them, the cost of your overhead in terms of electricity, in terms of uh, water, in terms of vaccination, medication, and all that. If you have a lot of beds, you are going to make your money back. And you know, you are going to still make money continuously because the beds will keep laying eggs every 26 to 28 hours after their initial 18 to 22 weeks and you are going to make some money from them. So imagine you have 500 beds and all of them are laying eggs and uh, at the end of the cycle, perhaps a year and extra, they become, you know, two weeks to lay eggs and you want to sell them off and bring more beds. You go for additional beds of say a thousand you are still keeping yourself in business. So revenue wise, you are going to make more money if you have more money invested in layers. And in broilers, you can make money instantaneously without needing so much money to start. So that is the difference between the two in terms of revenue. Let's look at the cost of feeding. You know, feeds are, let's say the food that the beds do take in every single day. And if you are not ready to feed these beds every single day, then you are not considering going into poultry farming because you have to feed these beds every blessed day when you wake up. With broilers, you will raise them for six weeks. So if you are feeding them on a daily basis, then you are going to feed them until six weeks, then you are able to sell them off. The cost of feeding for broilers is not that much because after six weeks you are going to be able to sell them and you can have some respite in between the time of bringing new beds in and the time of you know setting your business in motion but when you start with layers you don't have any respite in between because your business has to keep on going and uh, you have to be ready technically and financially if you are going the layers way. So with broilers, you have an ease with the feeding because the time span that you have is six weeks. And after six weeks, you're able to sell your beds off and make some money. And you can decide to reorder after six weeks or wait a little bit to you know, check your books and see how you move forward from there. Um, with layers, the cost of feeding is throughout the period. You have to feed them on a regular basis. And the fees that are applied to layers are also applied to broilers. And the cost of these feeds are the same. It depends wherever you are, whichever country that you are in. So the cost is marginally the same for broilers and layers. So you are looking at which one, perhaps your style, your method, or maybe your level of finances will be able to accommodate. So now we look at cost of medication or vaccination. You know, there is this very wild um, disease that usually affect beds and the most prevalent of them is the Newcastle disease. There are a lot of other diseases that require vaccination but the Newcastle disease on poultry farming is very devastating. Um, we are looking at broilers or layers and the cost of medication and the cost of vaccination. With broilers, naturally, you are going to have the opportunity to have fewer or whichever number that you require. And it tells you that, you know, that cost in that regard is equally manageable. And because you have a window of six weeks, you can still have time in between to be able to check your books and see how to move forward and looking at the cost of uh, vaccination for uh, for layers is entirely the same the same amount that is needed for both broilers or layers but your strategy 
is going to see how you are going to apply your cash flow so that's the money that is going out and the money that is coming in so if you don't have enough cash and you want to start a poultry farm you perhaps would want to start small with uh, broilers which is a bit manageable and with that you will be able to have some money in there which would be recouped after six months and you will rechannel your money to the new venture which perhaps is you know bringing in more beds and the more you keep going the more money that you rake in and as you rake in more money you are able to sustain the business for a while then you look at the bigger picture so the cost of if you are going into poultry farming the cost of vaccination for uh, broilers and layers are entirely the same but layers require more and constant because layers are kept for the long term so if you have layers you have to make sure that you have regular people regular uh, extension officers being veterinary uh, services department you yeah, i know which country that you are in but you have uh, the vets there who would be able to help you with the vaccination so you try and get closer to them and uh, they will give you enough guidelines in order to keep your beds alive because you know if you don't you know vaccinate them regularly at the end of the day you don't know when the next spike is coming and probably you would lose your entire investments so if you are going the layers way uh, you have to be more focused on getting closer to these technical people every now and then and understanding the ins and outs of you know vaccination if you are going the broilers way you equally require the same skill just that it is a bit more manageable in terms of the numbers if you have a larger number of vets then you have to still consult the veterinary uh, services department the veterinary officers the veterinary doctors to help you to get your business going because you need that technical input as well so now let's look at the startup cost the cost of starting a broilers farm and a layers farm as we have learned with a startup cost it's going to be more expensive to start a layers farm because with a layer or a layers farm you need to have at least 300 to 500 beds for you to really make some good money because the economies of scale has to come in you need to see that the money you are putting in and the money you are making you are you are making or getting out makes sense so for you to really start a layers farm and be profitable you have to at least save up and make enough money for 500 beds so that you are sure that you are going to have enough eggs to sustain the business after the period of 18 to 22 weeks because you are going to put in so much money you are going to need to build a bigger cage for you to keep the 500 beds or 300 beds inside you are you, you know you need to provide them constant electricity because they cannot sleep in the dark you need to you know give them constant running water because they drink a, a lot of water you also need to feed them on a daily basis so you need to feed them you know on a regular basis have enough feeds in stock so that you don't run out of feed and in keeping layers you are keeping them for the long haul because the cycle is going to be at least a year before this you know day old chicks mature so much that they won't be able to produce enough eggs for you so you probably would have to sell them off after a little over a year so until that you have to make sure you have enough money to keep this business going for you to start making money from them through selling the eggs after 20 weeks and moving forward you still have to keep your business running by taking care of the cost of running it so if you are thinking about a broilers farm you need to make sure you have at least some good money for 500 beds and keeping them for the long haul the money may vary from whichever country that you are watching it from, but at least you have a fair idea on how to start LAS farm. With broilers, you can start broilers even on a free range basis. You can have just five, you know, day old chicks, then 
you bring them in perhaps at the backyard of your house or even in your house you can have them there and raise them gradually as they are moving around and gradually you would find them after six weeks become you know bigger and ready to be sold if you feed them constantly but perhaps if you really want to go full time into real business then you have to construct a cage and bring in more beds about 200 you know 100 beds then you would need to have enough money for feeding enough money to run like you find here at the layer side you have to apply all those measures because if you are going in for more beds then it tells you that you need to feed them constantly you need to provide them with electricity you need to make sure they have enough receptacles for them to feed from they also need to have enough water supply you also need to regularly vaccinate them and all those costs would come in but after six weeks you can sell them off and you will recoup your investment then you look to the next version of it so the all in all it is easier and it's cheaper to start a broilers farm than to start a layers farm but the layers would bring in more financial returns because the eggs will fetch you more money on a regular basis on a daily basis capital gain from the broilers farm against residual income from the layers farm and we all know that having money on a daily basis and on a constant basis is more lucrative than monies that you will just make after six weeks and you turn it around and start it all over again so people who are really into layers farm and they have proper management they are making a lot of money and those in broilers who also have better network and a better marketing strategy can make even further more money than layers but you can even start and do both. It's entirely up to you. Then, so now viewers, you are going to have an opportunity to win a copy of this book. So uh, the best comment below is going to win. Tell us what you have learned from this session, if it's educative, informative, what you've learned, and which country you are actually watching us from. And the best comment is going to win a copy of this book. It's going to be shipped to you. It's going to be sent to you directly wherever you are. And this is our love to you. Make sure you subscribe to our channel because we have a lot of videos for you. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.